Hey everyone, it's Bill Chomp back at it with an Awakening Chaos Hero video, and I'm just going to be going over the new patch notes January 27th, 2022. There's a, quite a few things that look really interesting in here. I briefly went over it, but we're going to go ahead and read it uh, again for you all and give you my initial reaction to everything. So, first couple things is automatically log into the game, cool quality of life, iOS improvements, and Android. Hopefully, this fixes some issues um that people were having on those devices i have not played on my mobile device yet i've continuously played on the emulator so far the newbie hero pack will be gifted players who made any purchase in the shop um interesting uh so this is a nice bonus to those of you that have not purchased this pack so like let's let's say you're to buy the battle pass uh it looks like you'll get the hero pack as well maybe, maybe it's just the things in the shop but it's kind of weird that they're not giving to people who've already purchased it i feel like that's kind of weird um, they should definitely give something to people who have already purchased the pack. Um, that would be nice. Um, then we have the Tulpa. It decreases the damage um, from 150 minutes to 100%. A um, little weird. I don't see why they're continuously nerfing dungeons, but okay. Um, uh, I guess that makes Tulpa much easier uh, for those of you that had their characters getting killed off the counterattack for Tulpa. The ultimate ability animation now will not interrupt the in-game chat. Uh, cool, I guess. Fix an error where those in legendary ranks would not drop to the diamond rank. Big, big change, big, big change. This was uh, definitely abused <laughs> by a lot of people, including, you know, pretty much anyone that was higher than Platinum. I'm higher than Platinum. I was killing people who had one person defenses and we would just climb together um, because I needed to do my arena battle. So very, very, um, I think overall healthy change for the game, even though it does actually hurt me. <laughs> and then we have fixed display error on emulators. Sure. Uh, and then improve. Okay, so this is all just like really solid, uh, you know, quality of life updates these two in changes are particular i'm you know this is a nice change but they should have given to someone to everyone uh who purchased something something like bonus if it wasn't the newbie hero pack and then i'm still confused as why they're nerfing dungeons again i don't feel like the dungeons are difficult in this game at all uh so interesting but and then we have some balance changes and these look really really interesting so first off we have mognar decrease the skill duels from four to three turns and this skill is from five to four turns so they're just getting a, a cooldown decrease on both his skill a2 and his a3 which is nice and they're making his uh, a3 have an 80 percent chance to inflict stun i don't think this changes a lot um stun is honestly not a very good debuff in this game uh, because oftentimes you want to use it for void tower so the thing that you use stun for is, is arena and i don't think mognar is really a pvp character i could be mistaken someone could find a use for him but i just don't think that this changes all that much for mognar really you want to use him in like guild boss or something like that uh, to get high single target damage um from him so i don't know not seeing much uh you know effect with that thomas deadly melee decrease the skill crew from four to three turns this could matter actually quite a bit for those of you that are using thomas and tulpa um in any other place that are using him he's gonna get that uptime for defense too much much more often and do more damage that's really really cool then we have Aliza, her trait previously gave 30% attack, crit damage, and speed, which decreased by 10% per turn. Now it's 45%. Okay. So they just keep buffing Melisa. Um, they, this is the second time where they've kind of changed slash buffed her. And this could matter quite a bit. Uh, I don't think it matters an insane amount. I don't think it really changes the places that you would have used her previously. You're going to use her, um, but she's going to be more appealing of an option. I don't think this, like, busts open Melisa into some other game mode. I think she's good in the game modes that she's good in, and then now, now she's just better. So Lydia Assassin increased damage from 80 to 100%. So that's a basic, uh, you know, she, it's not, you can not counter with the basic, so she's going to counter with her ultimate. So the basic at least does 20% more damage. I guess that's a cool little fluff damage, but I don't think it really changes Lydia and where she is um, at the moment. She's really an, an arena exclusive character, and this doesn't really change all that much in that, uh, you know, kind of sense. Then Balbera deals 120% damage to all enemies, plus 60% extra damage to the main target. This attack deals 20% bonus damage um, to targets under a negative effect. Okay, so this is huge. They weren't giving us, you know, actual percentage bonus multipliers uh, on things that said deals extra damage, you know, based on whatever missing HP, whatever it is, there wasn't actual numbers in the game that we could, you know, really work off of. And this gives us some numbers. And this is actually a really solid uh, buff to Balbera here. Um, because this was already in the game, but I believe this 60% extra damage was not. So that's really, really solid. 180% damage on a single target and then AoEing for 120%. It's actually really, really nice. Uh, so so definitely, definitely very, very solid buff to Bulbera. Could be actually, you know, viable, more viable because he was already above average, but maybe this busts him into some other game modes. I'm not quite sure. 
Cyrus, her ultimates from 200% to 240. So this is a crazy, crazy buff in my opinion. Uh, Cyrus is already a really, really solid character. I have been using her in a lot of different game modes. An extra 40% damage on her ultimate is actually a big, big buff. And I don't really see why they would have done it. But honestly, I mean, I'm not going to complain about it. Nice buff to Cyrus. Very, very uh, large damage increase there. And then again, we have Molhex here. Increases damage from 150% to 200%. Molhex was a solid character, but he was often, you know, underrated slash underused. And this buff definitely helps him out because his uh, second ability was oftentimes doing more damage than his ultimate. Because if you hit twice, it'd do 200% damage, which is a little awkward. So I'm glad to see that they buffed the ultimate here because I think Molhex, you know, kind of earned a little bit of a buff, even though he's already a solid character um, beforehand. And then we have some additional balance changes, and these are all rares to be. I'm not really sure why they keep nerfing characters um, that make it easier for us. Like, really, th what this matters is, is first off, Barcode's going to have a, t a tougher time using rares. <laughs> but uh, second off, um, these characters are, like, not super difficult to beat. Um, this honestly makes your Void Tower climb, if you're having struggles with these units, a little easier. Um, and if they were going to nerf any rare, I'm glad to see that it's the mages, because I think they're the strongest rare. Um, they're definitely one of the most annoying um, characters in, in Void Tower, simply for the fact that they get all those bonus turns, and it's a little bit RNG dependent. Uh, not necessarily because they're super, super strong compared to other rares, but because it's random, um, and that's kind of irritating. So, uh, cool, I guess. Uh, it makes the game a little easier for everyone else. <laughs> and then we have bug fixes. Um, really just, you know, basic bug fixes, uh, art looks like, and then description error, and then translation error. Instead of converts, it says consumes, which is important because a lot of people thought building HP on Valyria would give you more damage. And that's probably why the confusion came up, because it says converts. We have other bug fixes. Uh, you know, nothing too, you know, I guess important here. Uh, just, you know, classical bug fixes. And that's pretty much it. So... Um, honestly, I, I like to see this. This is like a weekly patch now. Um, you know, we're getting eh, about every two weeks, to be honest, a couple of balance changes, which is nice to see. This is like mainly epics and legendaries here that were kind of underrated slash like not really looked at too much. And so besides, of course, Cyrus and Molhex, I think those two definitely were used quite a bit. Um, but the other ones, they were a little underperforming or not used ever. So it's nice to see that they're regularly buffing characters. Really, really nice to see. Um, and I'm actually quite excited by this update overall, uh, just because I like to see balance changes regularly. And there's nothing too insane in this one, but definitely some interesting buffs and definitely really, really nice to see. So if you are enjoying this content, be sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe to the channel. I will see you